the wizard. Real name unrevealed. Occupation professional criminal. Formerly a professional inventor, stage magician, and escape artist, and chess champion. Identity known to the police but not to the general public. Legal status American citizen with a criminal record. Former aliases the wingless wizard. Place of birth unrevealed. Marital status, single. Known relatives, none. Group affiliation, leader of the Frightful Four, now disbanded. Former ally of Mysterio and the Plant Man. Base of operations, New York City area. The wizard maintains an enormous mansion on Long Island. First appearance, Strange Tales number 102. Origin. Before his first clash with the Human Torch, the wizard was one of the most prominent celebrities of his day, known throughout the world. He was acclaimed by his fellow scientists for his new theories. The wizard became quite rich as a result of his great number of inventions, many of which were futuristic devices and furnishings which were sold to the wealthy, but whose expense put them out of the reach of the middle class. The wizard designed and had built for himself a futuristic mansion in Long Island which he filled with his own inventions. The wizard also used his intellectual talents to become a world-famous chess player. The wizard had even entered show business and would publicly stage feats of magic which he actually accomplished through advanced scientific means. Because of his many such feats and intellectual achievements, he became known in the news as the wizard. The wizard came to believe that there was only one intellectual challenge left for him, and that was to defeat the Human Torch. Moreover, the wizard intended to defeat the Torch by impersonating him and then destroying the real Torch's heroic reputation. The wizard was envious of the powers of the superhuman adventurers who had recently appeared and feared that the public would turn so much of its attention to such people that it would lose interest in him. He chose to go after the torch since he was the most visually spectacular of them so far. As part of his scheme, the wizard staged another of his remarkable public feats. He used a vehicle with an atomic-powered drill to bore what he said would be the deepest hole ever dug into the earth. The wizard then intentionally triggered a cave-in which buried his vehicle deep underground. Unknown to anyone else, the wizard had placed oxygen tanks aboard the vehicle which could enable him to live for weeks down there. As the wizard planned, he was rescued by the human torch. In seeming gratitude, the wizard invited the torch to his mansion. There, the wizard imprisoned the torch. The wizard then donned a costume he had designed which allowed him to mimic the torch's abilities and, thus disguised as the torch, publicly committed a series of crimes. However, the Human Torch broke free and, with the aid of the Invisible Girl, captured the wizard and procured proof for the police that it was actually the disguised wizard who had committed the crimes. As a result, the wizard was sentenced to prison. The wizard made subsequent attempts to revenge himself on the Torch, one of which was in partnership with another Torch foe named Paste Pot Pete. In an encounter with Paste Pot Pete and the Sandman, the wizard became inspired to create and lead a team that would be a criminal counterpart to the Fantastic Four. The Sandman and Paste Pot Pete, under his new name of the Trapster, both joined the team, and the wizard recruited Madame Medusa as its fourth member. The wizard had heard rumors of Medusa's existence and journeyed to the Mediterranean island where she was said to be living like a hermit. Medusa had fled from the Inhumans' Himalayan refuge, suffered amnesia, become a thief in Paris, and had returned to the island to escape the police. After arriving on the island, the wizard saw her fight off a search party of police and then offered her partnership with him. Medusa reluctantly agreed. The wizard and his three partners became known as the Frightful Four. Most of the wizard's criminal activities since then have been conducted in unison with the other Frightful Four members. After Medusa's departure from the organization, her place was filled by Thundra, the Brute, Electro, and Lyra. See individual entries. Occasionally, the wizard committed crimes on his own, and once he entered a brief partnership with Mysterio.
Since none of Medusa's successors proved to be a successful member of the group, and since the Sandman has now reformed, the wizard has disbanded the Frightful Four. For now, at least, the wizard operates on his own as a professional criminal. Height, 5 feet 8 inches. Weight, 150 pounds. Eyes, hazel. Hair, dark brown. Powers. The wizard has no superhuman powers, has little athletic ability, and has had no training in unarmed combat. However, his intellect is of genius level, and he has made discoveries that reach beyond the scope of contemporary science in such fields as the study of subatomic particles, hence his work with gravitons, and the study of other dimensions. The wizard's scientific brilliance, though, however great it may be, is still considerably less than that of such intellectual giants as Reed Richards, Dr. Doom, Magneto, and the Mandarin. Weapons. The wizard has created a large array of devices and weaponry which he has used against his various opponents. The best known of these are his anti-gravity discs, or flying discs. Each disc generates anti-gravitons which allow the disc to counteract the force of gravity. Gravitons are subatomic particles which carry the force of gravitational attraction between atomic particles. Anti-gravitons are subatomic particles with an opposite charge. The wizard wears an anti-gravity disc on his costume. The disc enables him to hover in the air or to fly at speeds of up to 140 miles per hour that being the limit at which he can still breathe. The wizard can vary the height at which he hovers by manually adjusting the disc, thereby varying the rate of interaction between the anti-gravity particle projector and the Earth's gravity field. Through adjusting the disc, the wizard can cause the anti-gravity energy to propel him in whatever direction he chooses. By adjusting the disc, he can also vary the speed at which he is propelled. The wizard can attach one or more anti-gravity discs to an object, thereby causing it to become virtually weightless, enabling him to more easily carry it off. He has often hurled anti-gravity discs treated with the Trapster's special paste, see, Trapster, at opponents. The discs are preset so that when they strike the opponent, they will carry him helplessly upwards. The Trapster's paste will give the victim great difficulty in removing the discs. The wizard's second most notable set of weapons are his power gloves, which contain their own miniaturized generators, circuitry, and devices which enable the wizard to perform various feats. They magnify the power of blows from his hands while he wears them, so that he can split an anvil with one blow. They also magnify his lifting ability while he wears them, so that he can pick up an adult man with one hand and hurl him across a large room. While wearing his special gloves, the wizard can lift, press, at least 500 pounds. The gloves can project intense bolts of high-frequency electrical force and short-range, 35 feet, medium-energy power blasts of electron beams. One of the power blasts can have the concussive force of 30 pounds of TNT. The gloves can be used to generate a force field around the wizard that can shield him from a concussive force equivalent to small anti-tank weapons. He can also use the gloves to produce a typhoon sphere, which is a small propeller-shaped force field that causes a whirling vortex of air which rapidly grows and can engulf an opponent. The effects created by the gloves are the results of different applications of anti-gravitational force. Anti-gravitational force is used to repel objects, hence the force field and power blasts, to help the wizard lift massive objects, to create vortices of air, and to help him destroy objects by striking them with force field gravity beam encased hands and pulsed gravity wave accelerated electron power beam. Another invention of the wizards is his id machine, with which he can stimulate the R-complex of the brain and release a victim's aggressive urges, suppress the victim's conscience, and brainwash the victim into serving him. In the past, the wizard has used the id machine to put the thing and the human torch temporarily under his control. Among the wizard's many other inventions that he has used for crime are his anti-gravity airship, 
a costume that duplicates, within limits, the powers of the human torch, the means of creating a pocket of non-causality within which all variations of events are equally possible, and the means to create a dimensional matrix so that an entrapped victim will keep returning to the same room no matter how often he or she leaves it.